just flow. And some are a struggle. Every painting kind of dictates its own ending. You know, you get a great idea, you're really excited about it, it's really fun, and then you just kind of listen as you paint, and it really does kind of dictate its own ending. My mother was an artist. She did, she made puzzles for us and things like that. I always watched her color. She was really great, you know, with the art. And so we always did that. My mom would have us sketch our portraits in the mirror. And as you evolve as a, as a, as a person and life affects you, I think you um, see life in a way that, that comes out in your art. I love the way it makes me feel. It de-stresses me, I mean, but mainly it's exciting. When you see something coming around and it's working and it's something you want, when you get up in the morning, you can't wait to get to the studio because you, you, you have ideas about the next painting. And I mean, I seek it out wherever I go, art and beautiful things, you know. Early on, our family moved from a rural town to a larger city. And in that city, there was a wonderful natural history museum. So I became fascinated with two things background paintings to the dioramas and the taxidermy. So for a while I was a taxidermist. Oh, from the time I was about 11 years old, I took taxidermy correspondence courses. But it, that naturally segued into an interest in art, primarily natural history and wildlife. What motivates me as an artist are the aesthetics. And by aesthetically, I just simply mean in terms of the aesthetics of design, color, light, rhythm. So the different disciplines in the, in the fields of, of aesthetics in art. And so that's what I try to carry forward in my paintings. I got a certificate in scientific illustration from Cornell. I started illustrating books. You know, I have folders full of sketches of particular animals, so I'll bring those out and I'll have those references of everything from a beak to a leg and things that I've, I've sketched out in the field. Because, as I say, photographs, you know, they're essential to work with animals and birds, but they just don't capture everything. And they just don't give you all the information that you get from studying from life. What I like to capture in animals is the individual spirit. I can really study that personality and that presence, whether I'm doing somebody's horse, whether I'm doing a bison. I can just, you know, I sort of immerse myself in who they are and what they're expressing. And that's what I want to capture. Mm -hmm.